This brief tutorial describes how to understand and access gene ontology annotations in TEAR. The gene ontology is a set of controlled vocabularies that are used to describe three aspects of gene products, the biological process, molecular function, and cellular component. Using gene ontologies allows us to describe gene function in a way that makes it easier to find and manipulate and analyze computationally. Go also facilitates interoperability because it's the standard used by all sorts of mods and genome databases. Go annotations themselves are structured associations between gene products that are machine and human readable. They consist of a gene product, the thing being annotated, a Go term, an evidence code, and a reference for the evidence, for the source of the evidence. Evidence codes are short, usually three-letter codes that indicate the type of evidence used to support the annotation. Every locus page in TEAR has a section showing you the annotations associated to that locus. If you click on the annotation detail, you'll see a list, a complete list of the annotations. Click on the reference link to find the paper or source of the evidence, experimental or otherwise, that supports the annotation. Or, if you want to find similarly annotated genes, you can click on the Go term itself to view the term details and see other genes and information associated to the same term. In TEAR, you can also find genes by Go term using the gene search. Enter in a term. If you use the default parameters, it will return all annotations for all different types of evidence. Or if you prefer, you can limit the results only to those genes annotated based on experimental evidence. You can also search and browse the ontologies directly by selecting the keyword browser under the Browse menu. You can search for a specific term and then use the Tree Viewer to explore the ontologies. You can choose to display different types of data that are associated with the Go terms, including annotations, genes, or papers. If you have a set of genes that you want to obtain Go annotations for, you can use the Go annotation search tool. For example, say you have a list of members of a gene family or a set of co-expressed genes. You can enter this list and download all of the annotations for that gene set. You can also view the results as broad functional categories and display that as a list or in Pi and bar chart formats. You can do this for the whole genome as well as your subset of genes. If you want to do a term enrichment to find Go terms that are overrepresented in a data set, you can use term enrichment tools from external sources, such as the one available from the Gene Ontology Consortium. Because TEAR's annotations are sent to the Go Consortium monthly, when you use these tools, you'll be accessing the most recent Go annotations from TEAR. Upload your list of locus identifiers and choose Arabidopsis thaliana as the data set. Set with your parameters and you'll be ready to go. You could choose to restrict your results to only those gene function annotations that are experimentally based or compared to the whole data set. We encourage you to learn more about the gene ontologies by visiting the Go website. Or if you have questions or comments, please email us at curator at arabidopsis.org.